Hello, boys and girls. We're just checking that everybody is seeing the audio, video, audio, everything. Hopefully, you can. Let us know if you can. Give us a wave. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Everything seems to be coming through my side. Yes, Eric does sound very strange. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you all. Hope you're all tickety boo. Hope you're all well. Uh, my name is Geek by your new community manager. Yeah, you can see. Look, I've even got a name badge now. I've even got a name badge just so that I can remember. You know, old age, you see. I don't always remember, so I've got to look at the screen. So oh, there we are. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Eric isn't here, and yes, he does look rather different. Um, yeah, he's American, I'm British, but uh, thanks very much for joining us. So, summer update. What more could you people ask for? What more could you want other than new content, new bits, new perks, new places to explore, new places to die? Let's be fair. I'm going to probably do a, quite a bit of that. So, <clears throat> summer update. Yeah, it's actually launched today. We were in Experimental last week. Obviously, if you were watching last week, you saw that Eric hit the button and went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Slorin. No, he's not being funny. He's, a, he's the community ambassador. He is the community ambassador. I'm here to help out the team. Um, deal with you lovely people, you know, which has been a pleasure uh, already. Uh, Shreem, yes, it is out. Uh, if you want to check your updates on Steam, you can. Also, I'm good on gaming. Um, just a heads up. The uh, Microsoft version is going through the classification, uh, so it may take a little while. Um, so just, uh, you know, give it some time. We've just got to wait on on Microsoft for that one. But other uh, platforms are available. Uh, grab it and dive in. So, yes, everybody can now uh, grab the summer update, which <coughs> is Drake Gang Wars. Oof. Have we got some content for you? Oh, yes, we do. So, where can you go? What can you do? Visit some ice planets? Fire planets? Go underwater? Don't go under lava, though. Ooh, bad idea, bad idea. Lava's not good. Not good, not good. 
people have been asking this in, in the forums as well. <clears throat> How do you actually get to Drake? Well, I'm going to actually show you. I'm going to show you some of the gameplay. Um, if this goes totally wrong, we are going to blame Eric, unfortunately, uh, because he gave me the game save for this one, because my game isn't as far on as his. So I've been trundling through the content, uh, trying to make my way there slowly. And then all of a sudden, um, I thought, I need to get to Drake. So yeah, fair play to Eric. He did uh, sort me out with a save and a nice little ship, which you can see right there. Oh, yes. Very nice ship. Very nice ship. And uh, <clears throat> some of you who've played Everspace 1 will probably recognize the, uh, the skin, the coloration. Very Everspace 1. Very nice. Very nice. So, uh, yes, we're going to do that. But first, we'll go through the rest of the content that we're going to see uh, this evening. Um, hopefully. A few things first. It is still early access. Uh, I've got to point that out. I know we've had the summer update. It's still early access. We're not out there until early 2023. So um, expect some text to speech. He's always funny. Um, bugs, we're still going to have them. <clears throat> we're going to smooth them out. Uh, you guys have done a fantastic job in the experimental this week where you've catalogued so many instances of where we've hit issues. And then the, uh, the team have worked feverishly to sort those out. Uh, and get the patches sorted so that you can have as smooth uh, an update as possible. But we're still going to have issues. Okay, that's that's early access. Uh, but with your help, we are pinning down the little bad bugs that uh, are spoiling the gameplay. So, uh, yeah, get it downloaded if you haven't already. I can see a few of you in the chat uh, like, oh, grabbing the update. Hey, oh, yeah, crap. That's going to take a while, you know, downloads. Hey, but uh, anyway, what's in the update? <sighs> Quite a few little things, big things. First of all, factions. We've got not one, not two, but three new factions for you to deal with in the Drake system. Um, some of you will be aware of a quite large streamer uh, called Co Carnage. Um, I mean, he's got rookie numbers, but let's be fair, you know, you've got to start somewhere. Um, he's a, a great backer of Everspace 1 and Everspace 2, and... He has his own faction in the game, and it's called the Coalition, which is named after his followers, who are the Coalition. Uh, so we'll we'll get to meet them. Also, we will get to meet the Zerilia, uh, and that is named after uh, another top tier backer called Zerilia. Funny enough, uh, very hot these guys, very hot, very hot. <laughs> uh, Dragon, can you help me identify the weird robotic British sounding text to speech voice of Elec when you start the Gang Wars quest? I will, and I, I do. I, I think I know which one you mean uh, uh, as to what accent there actually is. But yeah, I will. Uh, when we get to speak to Elec in a minute, we'll have a little look at that. Uh, finally, out of the factions, we're going to meet the Retaliators. Okay, they do control the water and ice theme locations that we're going to dive into, uh, literally. Uh, they're very aggressive, but you've got to stay frosty. Sorry, a bit of a pun there. A bit of a pun. And we've also got some new perks as well. Uh, obviously, when you meet some of your friends and uh, allies, they unlock various perks. And these are going to be uh, one is particularly Tareen, who, if you know him from Everspace One, which some of you will do, um, obviously he makes a return. Spoiler, sorry. Uh, but he's going to help you out with the ship dealers um, in various ways. Anyways. Ooh, the awful Nick the Paint scheme has big new conglomerate energy from Planetside. Indeed, I was uh, a Planetside 2 player as well. Uh, I did play on the NC team, even, even though we got beaten up quite badly from time to time. But uh, yeah, very NC. Um, also, you're going to have another uh, perk with Hive. Uh, and he's going to improve the, our pilot's abilities to switch secondaries mid-fight. Yes, but you've got to unlock it first, obviously. You've got to do a bit of work uh, and get it unlocked. Hive is probably my favourite sidekick in, in any game uh, I've ever played, to be fair. Absolutely um, sarcasm central. He really is. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love his uh, cutting remarks. Another thing that we're going to get, and a lot of you uh, are really enjoying these, is the high-risk mutators. Um, so when you go into a high-risk area, it can be a battle anyway. It can be a struggle to deal with um, a lot of, of what uh, enemies you find in those areas. But now you can mutate them in terms of some things that will help you 
and some things that will hinder you. But then you get big bonuses. So it's a bit of risk reward there. Um, if you want to um, dive into those, you can now uh, really challenge yourself and get the rewards if you can complete that high risk area. Tough. They're going to be tough. They're going to be tough. Uh, what else we got? Uh, quality of life improvements. Now, this is a big thing. Obviously, <clears throat> all through the development of the game, from start to finish, we're always trying to improve the quality of the game. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't we, to be fair? It's, uh, it's what we're famous for, is making a polished game. So we want to make sure that all the way through, we do have improvements. <clears throat> so a lot of that's down to you. Uh, obviously, some of your ideas uh, that you post in the Discords and the Steam forums, uh, etc., do get uh, transferred into the game. So please do continue that. Okay, we won't put everything that you suggest, but suggestions are what we live and breathe on because it gives us ideas to develop uh, new things to implement. And, you know, that's why we like you to be involved. So uh, thank you very much for all that have uh, been involved up to now. Let's carry on with that as we go forward and make an even better looter shooter in space. Uh, so what is in the quality of life? <coughs> well, a few things. We get some crafting of consumables. Ooh, we can craft them now so as you play you can craft things that you need we can also craft some components yeah you can see where this is going can't you with all the crafting and reward resource tracking so if you want to craft those consumables and craft those components but you don't know where to find them you can now track those resources and on your map you'll find areas that <clears throat> kind of give you a chance or a higher chance to get those resources that you need so they are always in every area and there will be in various amounts but they are renowned for being in those areas <clears throat> and then one of the other quality of life which is probably a good one to be fair is the hot swapping of armor so while you're in you know in a fight instead of having to go back to your home base or dock somewhere <clears throat> and actually uh, swap your armor out you can do that hot swap style uh, wherever you are it's very very handy very very handy so what else have we got down here i've got lots of notes lots of notes lots of notes lots of notes um <clears throat> obviously uh, eric has been going through a lot of the new sound effects and uh if you've not seen them or heard them rather uh in the summer update you are definitely gonna enjoy these uh obviously Guerrero has done an amazing job of improving the sfx and it all depends on the rarity of the actual weapon that you're firing so um mm, get ready to blast your ear rolls off that's going to be some good stuff some good stuff um we have suggested and we're still suggesting that if you are going to start <coughs> um playing through the summer update it is still best practice to go out there and start a new game i know it means obviously starting from the beginning but we have come across uh, a few bugs with old saves which we try and mitigate as much as possible but it's still best practice to to start afresh yeah it, like i say a lot of you guys have done a, a lot of work a lot of grinding keep those saves you know you can still dive in uh etc but let's be um let's be mindful that you will experience bugs with those old saves so um yeah start afresh and see what things you might miss and it might improve your whole playthrough as well um else was there Ooh, obviously the balance across the game um this is one of the patch notes that you just got to take note of is that drake is currently sitting at a slightly higher difficulty level um it's no picnic out there so uh if you're gonna dive in expect um trouble should we say you gotta be careful you gotta be careful when you dive into there so um yeah uh, oh, Medbed, I knew that. I wish there was a, a new game plus in ES2. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean in that one. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, track IR. Funnily enough, you might actually see. I am trying the track IR tonight. So we're going to see how that implementation uh, fits into the game. I have tested it already. Uh, <clears throat> and it does seem to play quite very immersive. Uh, I have been playing a lot in the first person view and then using head tracking to uh, scout around. So, uh, yeah, it is good. It is good. It's just, uh, and also, the AMD FSR uh, is implemented. Now, there has been a few little issues with that. We're hoping to uh, smooth those out as well. Again, early access, um, etc. A few graphical glitches, but hopefully we're pinning those down as we go through. Uh, and then, if I could do it in a high voice, but I can't, um, and to top it off, 
top it all off, there's another bloody sail on. Yes. Oh, if you've not already dived in, now is the time on Steam. 25% off. Bargain. Bargain. Remember, when we get to full release next next year, uh, whenever that is, early 2023, uh, it's going to be a bit of a price bump. Price bump. So if you want to get in now, now is the time. If you're still a bit undecided, there is a demo available on Steam. So please do check it out. But um, I'm, I'm biased and I'm sure a lot of the chat are as well uh, that we think you should dive in now and certainly uh, get your toes wet in what is a wonderful game called Everspace 2. So, shall we continue? Shall we head to Drake? Shall we probably die? <laughs> <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. But uh, anyway, here we go. So, let me come out of there. So, head tracking. Uh, as soon as we're here, I'll, I will show you this. Mine's set up quite sensitive. Uh, this is third person, but literally as I tilt my head, if you've never seen it, track IR system, and then you can tip sideways, etc. You can roll as well if you need to. Now, the only thing that it doesn't do is the sixth depth of field, which is the forward and backwards on that axis. But to be honest with you, you I can't really do it because I'll be smacking my microphone, but it would be, um, you know, smacking yourself against the windshield. So, yeah, we're going to try it as we go, uh, hopefully. So, if you don't know how to start uh, to get to Drake, you need to come back to Radio 2 to the home base. Uh, uh, Shreem, uh, yeah, it's called Track IR. That's the one, yeah, Track IR. Um, so, um, yeah, it does add a bit of realism. Obviously, some people were very disappointed that there was no um, VR. Um, obviously, reasons that have been outlined time and time again, but this is a very immersive um, option if you want to. Uh, there are other options as well not only track ir open uh is it open ir as well so there's, there's various ones but i have the track ir system um but yeah definitely check it out so cockpit board when you're in there very handy there you go if you want to have a little look around your ship have a look at your feet that are not there <laughs> not bad but I have been playing quite uh, significantly in first person. Anything you can see, look, you can get CU weapons on the outside. It literally is kind of front of the roller coaster, seats of your pants job. Very nice, very nice. So um, I'll just pop out of there. So we need to go to the home base. We're going to head there and then we need to speak to Alec. He's going to start the game off for us, uh, the, the mission rather, to get us towards Drake. Hey, Adam, are you busy? Am I busy? Um, you mean other than the massive drama going on, somehow always pitched on the edge of war, everyone's lives at risk? Yes, other than that? No, other than that, not really. Oh, good, thank you, really, thank you, because I was wondering, not that I want to be any trouble, but if you happen to have some time. What do you need, Alec? It's my kids. They're on my mind. Are they in trouble? Usually, yeah, but nothing to worry about. Evex a mechanic and Eric's a pilot, and then there's Emek and Edic and Efuk. <laughs> and, of course, Epek and Ezek, who have kids of their own now. Can you believe I'm a grandpa? Somehow, yes. But, it's been so long since I've had word from any of them. And if you were to ever, you know, be in the area. Where are they? With their various moms, mostly on Avonrist, but it's the ones out at Coalition HQ, and Drake system, that I'm more concerned about. You can reach it through the hidden wormhole in Union. I don't know it. If you give me cords, I'll stop by and make sure they're all accounted for. Okie dokie. Cords sent over. I'd go myself but the Coalition told me to only show my face again if the cluster is about to implode. Appreciate it, dude. For you. Alec, I do anything. Uh, there we go. Right. Uh, somebody did ask me earlier. Uh, I think it was that awful, Nick. Um, you wanted to know the accent uh, for Alec. Now, I believe it is a Welsh accent. There is certainly a Welsh accent there. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it is a British Welsh accent. 
Now, text to speech is because obviously the voiceovers haven't been done yet, uh, but they will be done. Obviously, it's going to be fully voiced, uh, but you know, got to get the content out, and then obviously the voiceovers are done on top of that. If you do have any questions, by the way, um, I might not see them because it's, the chats are spanning through quite quickly. Um, however, Michael's here, uh, Doctor Who is here. It, just ask them. Somebody in the community will be able to uh, answer them for you. Uh, well, yeah, Welshek. <laughs> yeah, we've also we've got a Welshelic. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we've got Welshek. <laughs> that's that's his new uh, native tongue. Is Welshek. Yeah, Michael's on duty. There he is. Uh, does you um, it, uh, ooh, lots of questions. Lots of questions. Uh, normally, to be fair, uh, I'm usually clear in the uh, the uh, questions for Eric, but obviously he's not here and he's not doing it for me. So next week, hopefully, when Eric's back. I will be collating all the questions that you might have uh, in our new fancy pants um, document that we use so I can clear everything and he can then just read the questions uh, because it can be quite hard to keep up with everything. But uh, right, let's go see where Alex's children are because this could be anywhere. Can I, can I just point out as well, can you see how many, uh, how many credits I've been left with by Eric? <laughs> he did me this game save and gave me no money. <laughs> it's like... Well, I've given you good guns. I've given you good weapons. I've given you a good ship. Not given you any money. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so we might have to earn some money. <laughs> Eric made bank. Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, I've given you everything else. I've just totally, totally given you nothing else. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Anyway, let's head out. Off we go. Right. So we're gonna have a look at the map because we obviously do need to get to <gasps> Drake. Look at that. See there with Drake. That's where we need to be. And that's where you're going to go if you're not already. Ooh. Yeah. So anyway, we found that obviously we'll use the uh, special bypass. Again, it was something that I've not actually used yet, funnily enough, uh, because I haven't got that far in my game. But um, we will use the special bypass. Yeah, we are going to go to that one, are we? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oops. Hello, hit the brakes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hang on. Am I hitting a bug here? Because as soon as I hit activate, it's taking me to the map. Why are you not activate? Ooh, that is taking me to the map every time. Eric, have you broken my save? <laughs> uh, okay, right, yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> Got the web point there. There we go. Hmm. There we go. That's done it. <clears throat> yeah, every time that was happening. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, sorry anybody that's late. I am using Track IR. Always so you can, plays havoc on my geolocation you can see that I can use You'll get used to it, Hive. nearly all the way around. There are certain limitations, but yeah, obviously in first person if you want to be in the ship and then looking around as you fly you just got to be very careful where you're actually flying to because you know sometimes you end up in things that you shouldn't hit yeah there we go and you get to uh, rusty glass rusty glass but i have enjoyed playing in the full first person which is nice right so <clears throat> we do you can see now we've got the link between these are the quads that we've got given by elec you missed the right destination any first step. Yeah, probably, probably, to be fair. There we go. So we're going to go there, which is our jump to there. Let's swing it around. Let's fire it up. Here we go.
Uh, Spoon Knight with that track, I say, what model is it? And is it universal? Or is it a specific headset? I'm interested now. I may get it if they fit on the V mode or crossfades. Um, <clears throat> if you have a look on the Track IR website, uh, mine's the latest version with Track IR 5. It has been out a few years. Uh, I've had it quite a long time, probably a good four years or more. <laughs> Valning, uh, where are your warp sunglasses? Sorry, yeah, I actually don't have any warp sunglasses. I do apologize. Yeah. <laughs> right, so. We're at the Drake Passage. We need to find the jump boat, which is the Galliano Gate. Some of you might not have even been here. I hadn't up to a few days ago. So, hmm, that looks like it might explode. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a little sneak around. <coughs> Enemies there. <laughs> so beatbox one, yeah, yeah. I've asked if I'm going to be doing any beatboxing. Uh, that, that that is definitely Eric's forte. Definitely not mine. <laughs> ah, now I see where somebody did a wonderful screenshot from now we've been pinged <clears throat> Ooh, free boxes let's get some containers i do need money by the way i do need money because like i said uh, eric didn't leave me with any <laughs> so let's see if we can get some cash as well out of somebody nanobots Uh -huh. So we've got potential inbound on the outlaws. Deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's an obligation now, right? It's an obligation. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> uh, Bill Farson, uh, could you spend some time in Super Lightning Drake? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't have any cheats. No, definitely not. It was, uh, you know, I haven't got the dev cheats yet. We're doing it as you would play through. So, yeah. Um, oh, look, I've got some credits. Yay. Yay, I've got some credits, finally. <laughs> just Sometimes you just need... <clears throat> right. Right. <clears throat> Money is indeed. We got monies. Right. Here we go. This is rather special, by the way. I know 1.4. I mean, stream. So, yeah, this is a very, very special. When you come through here for the first time, uh, enjoy. Uh, wonderful uh, art. Here we go. In first person, shall we? Ganiano Gate. How cool is that? How cool is that? <laughs> and then spit us out the other side any second, probably into a whole bucket of trouble. Yep. <clears throat> let's get out here. <clears throat> While we're here, let's have a little look, see. So that's where we've come through. That was a hell of a screenshot there, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. <clears throat> lots of things. Lots of things to check out. Right. So, <clears throat> we are going to go into Super Light because we are going to find we need to be at Letho Starport down there. So, yeah. Let's go in Super Light. <clears throat> <clears throat> just going to ramp up the uh, the music it is very cool music
very cool, very chill music. What I'm going to do is <clears throat> we're going to just drop into this unknown signal. And you can hear the weapon sound. Uh, Not to really having a go at us here. Very warm welcome as we dropped in there, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh, we're all calm again now. So we've got Zerilia seemingly taking on something over there. Let's go to the rescue. down just a smidge Come to this engagement. Well done. Right, where have we got over there? And there's more drones. Let's just clear those out. Group of drones. And we've got a scout as well. every time <laughs> too sure about that Adam to be fair all right and the retaliator scout over there we'll just clear him out as well grab as well it's good this is good so plenty of stuff we we'll collect everything obviously you know we just we just after the monies uh, one tip if you do use track ir uh, i would if possible put one of the um centering uh, buttons onto your mouse that does help significantly so uh, i have a mouse with about 12 buttons and i just Put it on one that's easy to do because obviously it can drift a little bit but that's just the nature of the track ir it's not a, anything to do with the implementation etc but yeah so if, if for any reason it's off center you just could just hit a mouse button and then boom go there. there we go so i didn't die which is always good i'm happy with that i'm happy right so let's carry on we do need to go to lethal and let's carry on the story uh yeah Again, there'll be more text-to-speech 
obviously early access haven't completed the voiceovers etc so um, yeah text to speech no chill music again Uh, Spook, no, I don't. Um, I have been playing on hard, but for the purposes of this, I've uh, I've, I've only been playing on uh, normal uh, because I've not been to this area before, so I didn't want to just um, uh, show off the area of me dying uh, all the time. So, <laughs> oh yeah, the cup, by the way. Yeah, the, yeah, the cup. Uh, uh, <sighs> Lethal station. How cool does that look? That's a very nice station. Very. Very nice. Still some work to do to finish it off, but it's looking good. Nearly done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is. Funnily enough, it is a green cup. It's not an invisible, totally invisible cup. But yeah, you know, if all of a sudden, you know, I put it over there, you can still see the station. How well, it's always going off the green screen there, but you can still see <laughs> the green cup. Yeah. And as a true uh, British person, I am drinking tea. Yes, we do live up to that total stereotype. Tea drinkers. Family dog. State your business. I'd like to inquire about the well-being of some young whore eggs on your station. Well, well, look what the Ushakian lizard cat dragged in. Aren't you Adam Roslin? The one and oh. Well, yes. That stunt you pulled on Avonrist brought down Acre Heat on the Coalition which we could have done without. Oh, yeah. Look, sorry, but that was Maddox. I think I remember you. I am Ming Yun, I command the Coalition, or what's left of it. Look, I'm just trying to do a favor for an old friend. Do you happen to know any of the offspring of a Horag named Dalek? Of course. Emek and Danek especially, they're total goofballs, my own kids love them. You can tell Alec they're all doing fine. I can't vouch for the future of our station, however. What do you mean? The Coalition is walking a tightrope and I fear our position here is in danger. I feel I owe you guys for that spot of trouble I caused earlier. If there was something I could do. We could use any help we could get. Tell me. Have you ever heard of the Zerilia gang? Should I have? Oh, Dregs gang. of the colonial fleet abandoned here after the Acre War. They've managed to survive in the geothermal plant of a lava planet, looting the occasional automated cargo, which we can tolerate so long as they leave us alone. But now, the Zerilia scientists have developed a signature bomb which we have no defense against. So they've become a threat? Possibly. If we could just get our hands on one of these bombs, we could examine it and assess the magnitude of the threat. If I were to try lift one for you, where would they to be found? Deep inside their base. The bombs come for to a drone. Get a drone out of there and program it to fly to us. Just, you know, make sure it's not armed. Sounds too easy. There has to be a catch. The Zarelia's HQ is well defended. But, my spies have reported a back way and that's unguarded. Why the hell would they leave it unguarded? Because it's inside a volcano. And, there's the catch. <laughs> I can't send any of my own people. If Zarelia finds out we were involved, that would provoke them to action. I'll undertake the task. I feel I owe you. Besides, I'm not one to leave my friend's kids in danger. If you are successful, we would be in your debt. Good luck, Mr. Roslin. You'll need it. I can well believe that. See, I am going to need uh, help with this, I think. Uh, Bill Farson on YouTube did say, why the main mission mark is in the hood in blue. Uh, these are the main missions, right? Uh, yeah, this is, these are classed as side quests. Um, so, yeah, they are side quests. Uh, if we look at the missions, the main mission there... Uh, paving the way you've reached the end of the current available main missions obviously that's up to uh the level 17 <clears throat> um but yeah these are side quests so gang wars down here uh, which is the one we're currently doing uh we don't want that one we want that one um 
is the the nice blue one now so there we go so yeah level 20. So i'm just going to go to the shop uh hey i mean <laughs> not only does eric leave me with no money i haven't even got any blueprints i've had got any blueprints <laughs> Luckily, I can uh, I can break dismantle some of these down. Uh, now there was a question that we did see. Uh, I think it was earlier today in the Discord, uh, and people were asking, should you um, dismantle uh, your weapons or should you sell them? It's a bit of a fluid situation, to be honest with you. It depends if you're trying to save up for maybe a shield ST, um, you know, as a, as a little upgrade for for your build. You might think, oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sell all my gear that I'm gonna do, you know, so that I can actually afford it. Or it could be that you need more materials for uh, crafting, or you might need that blueprint that's uh, still eluding uh, from your uh, uh, crafting list. So it is situational. Uh, <clears throat> it's entirely up to you what you do at that point. Um, but that's why you might go and do some uh, high risk areas, for example. Um, and earn a bit of cash, you know. So don't think that you got to do. It. See, blaster. There we go. Look, you, you get a blaster. I've got, no, I've got no blueprints. So, like I say, we'd either sell that for some money, um, or we could dismantle. I'm actually going to sell that one for some money because I do need a little bit more, you know. I have to pay for repairs soon. <clears throat> yeah, uh, we'll get rid of the pulse laser as well. Uh, so we'll sell that for some. Uh, we'll put that into there. Guess we'll that we might need a repair. Uh, down there if we need to we'll keep the lower liquor yeah for the perks for the elec uh, oops Carla, serene elec ive Delia, ben obviously your own <coughs> who wants what's down there right so fire support i'll just going to invest those in with elec anyway and then i can get them out of my bags we haven't got enough to even invest in that. Not enough, not enough to get Elec in for some support. Uh oh actually while we're here. This is the, the new one, which is the startup delays, which is the new perk for Hive. <coughs> so it reduces the startup delay after equipping a secondary weapon or consumable to 20 seconds. So that basically knocks the time down uh that it becomes available. Because obviously in combat when you switch anything in, there is a delay before you can activate it. It's almost like it's got to boot up and load in, and, you know, that kind of scenario. So that reduces the time. So that's quite a handy one. And then obviously Terrain, he can help you out with the ship dealers. Uh and to start with the first level is increase the number of ships offered at ship dealers. So if you do want to uh have a, a wider range of uh, ships available to potentially buy each time you visit a ship dealer that could be a good one to unlock because i know some of you are really looking for that just that one ship that you really really like um and hopefully you'll find it if you increase the number of ships that are offered to uh to you at ship dealers so very very nice in fact i've got some of that let's, let's put some of that into there there we go uh energy orbs nanobots okay the crystal the There we go. Do that. Yep. So we haven't got enough credits, doubles, and nanobots. Yep. Cool. Right. So crafting as well. Sorry, we did mention this obviously in the patch notes. We'll have a look at it now. Uh, <coughs> you'll notice a few, uh, you know, icons that you might not have seen before. Certainly, I had. But the big thing is that you can now craft consumables if you have the blueprints. Yeah, I haven't. If you need components, obviously you can. Etc. Uh, modules, obviously we've always had them. Um, secondary weapons, yeah, all the various tiers. How how have I got an uncommon <laughs> corrosion mines? They're quite nice. Corrosion, love them. Uh, got a rare in terms of toil, got a coal gun. Catalyst as well. If you want to play with those, very very nice as well. Um, again, very situational, but you know, very expensive. Certain things that you need, but now we can craft them. So. Uh, Here's individual ship module swap because my coming in full release, or maybe before that. Um, Shreem, I don't actually know on that one. Uh, Doctor, you or Michael may be able to answer that, uh, but obviously it's something that they do want to happen. Um, obviously, we can customize to a degree, but only on coloration, uh, whereas modules, uh, styles, etc., uh, 
We'll have to defer to one of those. Mm-hmm. Right, so. Uh, the module we didn't have, oh, it's that one. Okay, fair enough. Uh, walls, the uncommon. Oh, right. <clears throat> so we are going to the Alpha Draco Thermal Plant. So the commander of the coalition, Ming Yun, wants to me to steal a drone of an outlaw gang called the Zerilia from their headquarters. She claims that this ensures the peace in this system and therefore inherently Alex children. There we go. See? Double the answer. So, uh, yeah, just uh, uh, it was a question on Twitch from uh, Shreem uh, about ship module swapping and customization. Uh, it's planned for later on. And uh, Michael says it's ship transmogging is planned for 1.0. So pretty much launch afterwards. Okay. Uh, well done, Spoon Knight. Well done. <laughs> Oh, bearded frog, yes, uh, over on uh, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, when I when I saw the patch notes myself, I thought oh, there's going to be one person that's not going to be happy about that, and that's the uh, this the slight bug. We'll call it a bug um, rather than an exploit. But uh, yeah, it has been patched out now, so you can't get extremely wealthy uh, from those now. <laughs> right. Uh, so let's uh, let's head. Hey, Alec. It's me. Okay, hey, Adam. Done here. Ben repaired the ice cream machine. It is delicious. That's great. Look, I visited the Coalition, and Ming Yun reassured me your children are doing great. I just... need to make sure things stay that way. Okay. That kinda doesn't sound reassuring at all. Can you tell me anything about a Zerelia gang that's been hounding the Coalition? Those guys... are formed in the backside of the Drake system. Their boss, Admiral Zealous, is a bloodthirsty maniac who thinks it was a mistake to sign a treaty with the Okar. You're not getting mixed up with them, are you, buddy? I'm just paying them a little visit. I'll be careful. If I can help neutralize some bombs they've apparently developed, I might be able to provide some lasting security for all the little X. You're the best, Adam. Uh, hi, Ban, on, uh, on... Twitch has just noticed something that I just noticed actually that this uh, Letho Starport symbol is very much like when you see the uh, Enterprise, for example, uh, from Star Trek, the way that the lights shine onto uh, the uh, insignia, and it's very, very much. And if that, I'd love to ask to go one of the development team if that was intentional, because if it isn't, it's it bonkers the close. <laughs> it really is good. Uh, how you doing, Flory? Right. Oh, we've got, a, ooh, we've got a little bit of a fight going on. Bloodstar Prospector. Ooh, this, uh, this could be an interesting little... Uh, just getting involved in the speed. Hello. Zippy is this girl. Wow. <laughs> now some of you might be thinking, how is he firing the weapon, uh my secondary, which is the powerful EMP missile? Um now there is a little bonus on this one uh, with it being a superior on primary weapon critical hit there's a 20 percent chance to fire a free missile at the locked target so <laughs> that is a big big bonus so uh, yeah that's why it keeps firing off and it doesn't cost you any any resources in terms of any of your missiles so uh that is uh, a phenomenal. So I'll give Eric credit. Actually, he did give me a, a good, uh, <laughs> a good set of powerful EMP missiles there. <clears throat> uh, Kids, all the one 
0.5 second cooldown is a lie. It, it does seem to be quicker than that. I'm not entirely sure. But um, anyway, we can always try again. We can always test it. Uh, we've got another battle going on up here. Let's set up. Just don't want to hit the others. Hello. That was all a little bit uh, feisty around there. And over there we've got the elite coalition. Fighters. Or elite retaliator. Oh, somebody's going to take that one. Three! <laughs> Did they absolute frag steal there didn't i just a swooped in they've done all the hard work and i was like yep i'll take that kill thank you very much now shall we a little look at these guys these are the coalition ships very very nice very industrial very industrial now i know core does enjoy uh the 1980s transformers uh and i got some serious chunky vibes from these that they're very um, they could change shape um, quite easily. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Bad, is it? That's a cool vista there. Uh, it looks a little like Shockwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, a bit of fun. You can definitely get it to proc more than once every one and a half seconds on high crit builds. Yeah, you probably probably can. Screenshot, indeed. It is a screenshot, that one. The tech one. There we go. Right. Let us drop out of there. So, we've got a place to go, and that is the Alpha Draco Thermal Plant. Let's head there. Time is flying by. Time is flying by. <laughs> yeah, Bearded Frog, you may need to uh, kind of take them out of the <laughs> secondary slot. Morty! This looks like a hot place. This is Sierra Leone territory. You well, are not welcome here. Apparently, it seems like I I'm hear not that welcome here. Days. And that destroyer Last chance to leave is... Or you are going down in flames. Well, Ooh, one of us is. Wow. Okay, he doesn't like me very much, does he? He really doesn't like me. Got a drone eating us for breakfast as well. <laughs> really a turret <clears throat> taken down. Hello. We may be in trouble here. Is it that? It's the turret. That thing still hitting me hard. Still hitting me hard. I'm going to be very careful because if I get too close to the plant surface, I am going to eat dust as well. Right, so there we go. <clears throat> right, we need to be into that vent, which the Zerilia destroyer is lovingly parked right next to. So maybe we might need to just do a little bit of a Leroy Jenkins into here and avoid him. Hey, yeah. This volcanic vent should be the back door the coalition leader told you about. Well... Let's have a look inside this thing. <laughs> this thing is well above 1,000 degrees inside. The limit of our thermal protection has been reached. Continue, and the ship will be destroyed. All right, all right, I'm stopping. Damn it. Do you get anything? I detect the signature of the bomb drones we are seeking across this lava pool. However, we cannot cross without melting like saturated fat molecules. 
What about those maintenance drones? Mm -hmm. They aren't having any trouble with the heat. It appears they have been modified with external heat shields. Great. Then I can take control of one of those things remotely, and let it reach the bombs for us. Think you can locate a maintenance terminal? If it means leaving this hellhole without frying my circuits, I am more than happy to try. Yeah, Zerilia, thanks very much for the warm welcome to uh, the Draco Thermal Plant there with uh, your wonderful faction that just were like, hey, I'm just going to open up a full volley. You're not allowed here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Descent. Uh, great game, D great game. Right, so we need to find... <clears throat> well, we're not going to go out there. We need to find... Oops, hello. We've got heat resistance in the bubbles. Very nice. It says to leave the volcano, so we do need to find um, <clears throat> where we need to head. So we need to find an access to control one of them. <clears throat> I did uh, track out without cockpit, and without dead zone indicator for mouse. You as uh, to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Right, let's uh, head out then. So let's see if we can find. We're going to have to burst out of here. Uh, like a cork out of a champagne bottle, I think. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Straight away, we are getting absolutely hammered by that destroyer again. Thank you very much, Zerilia Destroyer. Right, so we need to find our waypoint again over here. Wow. That destroyer probably tries to shoot me into oblivion okay. right we've got a Zerillia drone over there so we're gonna have to deal with those you earned incoming here time to burn time to burn Another they do burn as well there. really I'm a wind on the leaf. I love that. I love that. <laughs> right. So everything else is getting us a little bit toasty there. What else is pulled? Not far enough away. Cool. Now, can we just appreciate this vista? like Iceland on a uh, Saturday. It really is. You, you just feel the heat. Feel the heat. Look at that lava. Look at it spewing. You look at it. Uh, if anything, you can't... Uh, you've got to admire the art team. Uh, Michael, big congratulations on having such talented artists doing the, uh, doing the environments. Uh, it looks amazing. The lighting uh, and the texturing and everything. So, so cool. There's, it looks like there's magma. <laughs> Spoon Night or Arizona, 10 months of the year. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. There we go. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I think if, uh, if you don't come here and want to take some screenshots, I'll be very, very surprised. I know there has been some already. Um, uh, from the uh, slightly spoiled screenshots that we've uh, we've been keeping there, and uh, yeah, right. Let's carry on anyway. Down to the hangar. We were close down there. In we go. This Ooh. shaft should lead to a maintenance drone terminal. Hey, I'm receiving an intruder alert at sector 17B. Hang on, hang on here. 
Ooh, we got a blood star one for more armor, but we get less. But more structure, but less of that. Mm, okay. Anyone got eyes on a bogey? Ooh, Nothing. hello. They could be inside one of the access shafts. Oof. I'll take a look. You let the boss know. Oops. Sounds like I need to speak. I got absolutely demolished there. Absolutely demolished as soon as I went. Oops. I'll take the one death. I'll take the one. Let's see where we get this up This is to. Sierra Lea territory. You are not welcome here. Oh, here we go. It seems like I hear that a lot these days. We've got to go back into the Last chance to leave, or you are going down in flames. Well, one of us is. This volcanic vent should be the back door the coalition leader told you about. Well, let's have a look inside this thing. This thing is well above 1000 degrees inside. The ship's thermal protection system is not built for that. I advise utmost. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Let's get the to limit the of our thermal <clears throat> protection has been reached. Continue, and the ship will be destroyed. Yeah, I did All get right. kind of demolished right. in that uh, little area, but damn it! Do you we'll, get we'll give him one. We'll give him one. I they detect kill the signature once. of the bomb drones we are seeking across this lava pool. However, we cannot cross without melting like saturated fat molecules. <sighs> what about those maintenance drones? They aren't having any trouble with the heat. It appears they have been modified with external heat shields. <laughs> yeah, it's just a question on Great. YouTube about then Russian localization. Uh, is it going to be added to the game? Yes, it will be. It yes, it will. The bombs for us. Think you can locate a maintenance terminal? If it means leaving this hellhole without frying my circuits, I am more than happy to try. All oh, right. These are very cool little bubbles. You can go for a little ride around in these bubbles if you feel like uh, um, bubble riding. Let's uh, let's head out of here again. Off we go. But yeah, first person with track AR is quite. Uh, get to see. There we go. <laughs> Trying to get annihilated by that again. But he doesn't like me, does he? He really doesn't like me. Right, let's sit down there. Out of his range. Low. Yeah, I'm okay. I've got out of his range now. He does not like me at all, does he? He really doesn't. Look at the lava. Oh, he. Yeah, we're taking damage. Let's get out of there. Wow, these are just coming out of nowhere. You earned incoming here. Time to burn. Another fire themed threat? Really? Right, <clears throat> let's go cloaked. <laughs> this shaft should lead to a maintenance drone terminal. Hey, I'm receiving an intruder alert at Sector 17B. Anyone got eyes on a bogey? Nothing here. They could be inside one of the access shafts. Ah. I'll take a look. You let the boss know. I get absolutely like destroyed by those turrets. Up. That was just really a scout that hit me for 1300. Hmm. <sighs> certainly is. Certainly is. The 21s and I'm only 19. I think Eric has done this. So he, didn't, he didn't want to be outdone. <laughs> Now, to be fair, Eric is a fantastic pilot. He plays on very hard, and he does um, know how to you get into here, here. Uh, and deal it with all like the I problems. A lot these days. Last chance to leave, or you are going down in flames. Well, one of us is. This volcanic vent should be the back door the coalition leader told you about. Well, let's have a look inside this thing. This thing is well above 1,000 degrees inside. <laughs> the ship's th the limit of thermal yeah, nothing protection here. has so been already vaporized Continue, in. Continue, and the ship will <clears throat> be destroyed. All right, all right, I'm stopping. Damn it. Do you get anything? 
I detect the signature of the bomb drones we are seeking across this lava pool. However, we cannot cross without melting like saturated fat molecules. Skip that across. What I'm just going to do is go to <coughs> there. Hmm. Yeah, see, I've only got that. The simple fact. Let's have a look at this. Can we craft any consumable seed? No, I've gotten. <clears throat> this is the downside. Can't actually craft any. Uh... Largest stuff. Hmm. First out, let's see if we can get uh, <coughs> far enough away without getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> See me again? Doesn't like me. You earned incoming here. Time to burn. Another fire themed threat? Really? with him on my tail he was starting to really burn me pick up anything nice with turret probably not going to be helpful honest maybe like i say that's going to be level 21 so i can't even use that anyway container no. you're <laughs> that'll help I'm sure it'll help lots of resources hello yeah. That was a stray blast. Why? They ain't coming. Maybe. That'd be handy. <coughs> if that does impede these. This shaft should lead to a maintenance drone terminal. Hey, I'm receiving an intruder alert at Sector 17B. Anyone got eyes on a bogey? Nothing here. They could be inside one of the access shafts. I'll take a look. You let the boss know. Right. Sounds like I need to speed things up. I'm in. Looks like the drone shield is a kind of force sphere surrounding it, keeping it cool. You are very close to an access door to the bomb drones. Okay, let's grab it and get out of here quickly. Got it. Ooh, hey, hello. where is it going? You should stay close. It appears to be programmed to reach an exit, but it was not designed to exit over the lava. If you do not keep it inside your drone's heat shield, it will explode rather dramatically. Who the blazes is accessing our systems without my permission? Uh, nobody. Ha, huh. you think you're hot stuff? Hiding from us. <laughs> I'll show you hot. I'm gonna find you and fry your ass. Wow. You guys really like the flame wire metaphors, don't you? Whatever you're up to, it's going to fail. Who sent you? 
the retaliators. The who now? You think you're clever? I smell Balakin's fishy stench all over you. Yeah, sure, that's me. Listen close now. You tell your soggy boss to stay out of Zuria territory. We made a deal. What kind of deal? We were forged in flames, blood boiled, arisen from the ashes. This is our home. And if you people cross the line again, Zuria will burn you down. Yeah, okay. I'll be sure to pass along the message. Soggy boys. Thanks for calling. Uh, have a nice day. Why do I get the feeling there's more to this story than Ming Yun was letting on? Certainly, um, they don't look a happy, you sound a happy bunch, do they? Definitely don't. Right, come on, bomb drill. Come on, we got this, we got this. Double protection. Hello, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's going that way. The bomb drone's hull should be able to resist the temperature from this point. Good. Now, you will need to get close so I can override its mainframe and program it to reach the coalition. Sure. Just gotta get out of here and find it. There it goes. Hello. Still no one around. That was lucky. Now, I need to get out of here <laughs> and hopefully survive. Okay, so we've got Coalition are inbound. We know that there's a bomb drone there, so let's go override it and hopefully get, while they're getting distracted, they leave me alone. I am dispatching it to the Coalition HQ. Good. We should get out of here, too, before the Zergilia Armada arrives to sizzle me or stir-fry me, or whatever. Ah, yes. Humorous. Let's get into super light. Oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, dear. Ming Yun, the drone you ordered is on its way to you now. You are to be commended. A man of your word. I'm not so sure I can say the same of you. I get the feeling that Zerelia is not the only target in whatever game you're playing. You are most perceptive. Another quality I admire. Care to tell me what you are really up to? Indeed. You have earned a degree of explanation. The fact is, the job is only halfway done. We have the bomb now, but we need it delivered somewhere else. I knew there would be more to this. Expect me at your base shortly. Let's talk. Wow. So that was difficult, but uh, we did it. We did it. A new decal as well. We get the Zerilia. Uh, yeah, Zerilia. The, 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 <laughs> the smack talk lines are quite phenomenal. And uh, yeah, very, very funny. Very, very well read. Whew, that was tough. That was tough. Uh, yeah, the secret stashes as well there. Ooh. Yeah, so 12 secret stashes if you can survive in and around there. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Let's have a look. Where should we, should we have a look at Gilbert Naval Base? Should we have a look? Let's, let's go have a little nosy. We'll have a look. I want to show you the areas. I want to show you where you can go in and around Rick. yeah it is available now the summer update is available across <clears throat> most platforms uh we're still waiting on microsoft to say hey yay everything's good uh so if you've got it on steam if you've got it in good old games you can download it and you can get in there and play uh in the drake region if you so wish lots of changes uh lots of quality of life updates etc so you're probably better off trying uh, a new game especially if you've not played for a while as well because there's sometimes oddities with um old saves so uh yeah if you want a nice fresh experience get in there with a uh a new save oh hello gilbert naval base with a lot of bad weather run out the way somebody's icing me up
something's trying to hit me. Yeah, you've got some rockets. There we go, there we go, all the way. We've got the six if we can. Oh, my dear, we've got a drone there, hasn't he? Damn it. risks with the ship if I may say you may not it's my ship Ooh, we just managed to shoot that one just as it was about to smack us in the face so welcome to Gilbert that does not look in a good way but the environment looks phenomenal again uh, wonderfully created by the team uh, so let's go have a little look see the environmental effects that's some heavy rain We just walk straight into the naval base. There you go. There you are. Credits! We've got some more money. <laughs> some EMP missiles as well. Yeah, Deshra, I wondered if anybody would actually pick up on that. Yeah, I did say it. <laughs> Heavy Rain was a great game. Another poet. Hello? Very expressive. Yeah, very. things to find right, what have we got did we get anything nice so we got some level 21 stuff we got some more of that uh blueprints let's have a damage booster into there shall we we might actually swap that for a damage limiter that might be more handy just saying <laughs> This is obviously the other one of the other factions, the Retaliators, who um, do inhabit the Ice World, uh, and it's their territory. Fighting on their land is not easy. This could be a sticky situation here. Alright. 
Where you hiding? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, hello. We don't want them. Nope. <laughs> nope. There we go. Those detonator drums. When you hear that tick, 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 tick. You'll be waiting for the boom as well. Oh, no wonder there's a retaliator. Uh, drone ship over there. Wow. A little bit of everything coming for me now. Ship color. Look at the rain. So cool. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Away. Thank you. company company we've got more than company the we've accumulation got the... of credit seems to make humans happy a mystery why <laughs> it's always good for a bit of money i a bit of money is always good we are gonna have to take out this oh hello you thank you Oh, he's annoying. So close to these turrets, either. I'm very old school when it comes to flying. Very much have a space one. I probably won't gonna die again. Take a closer look at the drone ship. Yes, this is phenomenally well made. Annoying, but very well made. <laughs> very good question. Somebody just asked, can your um, ship get struck by lightning? No, it can't, thankfully. Imagine the environment. Um, I mean, we've got enough to deal with the with the ice and the lava. That's cool. That's a cool shot. Finis. If you don't enjoy taking screenshots, this is not the game for you. I mean, you, you just can't help yourself. Oh. Where do they all keep coming from? <laughs> I literally knew as that. As soon as that got me, I thought, ah. Oh. 
world. Ah, the drone, the drone. Ah, it's a Faraday cage anyway. Ah, see, so yeah, there's always a way out. There's a little way out. Right. Last bit of tea. This, this means business now. When you get down to the bottom of your cup of tea, then you know you're meaning business. So that's Gilbert Naval Base. Actually, what I'm thinking is let's just about turn. <laughs> Go cooked it there. You know that. Ooh, just got into super light. Just got into super light. Ah, chill music. Let's just chill. Just calm down after all that effort there. Let's go to Quimper Bell. That sounds like a good place to go, doesn't it? Let's head there. Absolutely, uh, Kilted Ninja. Absolutely. You could just leave the game. If you've got a wireless headset, just leave yourself. You could go to sleep to this music. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Bearded Frog, you still want to know what kind of tea I'm drinking? Uh, I drink some of the best tea that's made, and that is some, because I am from the region. It is, well, not from the region the tea's made, but Yorkshire tea. I'm from Yorkshire. You can probably tell. I do have a slight northern accent. So. <laughs> El Grey Hot, yes, I can see I can see the Star Trek reference there. You can see the Star Trek, yeah. Purple Locust you means above your level and a bit harder. Yeah, I, I, I am expecting that. I just want to see if I can survive. I'm telling you, er er Eric's done be over. I'm telling you, I'm telling you now. <laughs> like we'll send him into it. It's like get to the front troop and and deal with what you have to come up against. Quimper belt. Now that is a big ice formation. <laughs> I do use bringing the bringing the jokes now. Bringing the jokes. <laughs> This location isn't beautiful. It's cool. Look at the reflections. Those phenomenal reflections. It's a good place to... Ch oh, we're getting... We're, we're, but for every time that we get a, a little uh, a little pun, we're going to have to have a... There we go, a little rim shot there. <laughs> like we've got friends way over there that we might need to uh, go and investigate head down there shall we let's head down <laughs> there goes voodoo rear stay frosty well we can help you there we? let's just do a little bit of a repair job there there we go Medbed's bringing, uh, that's a good icebreaker. There we go, everybody's joining the party now, aren't they? So we've got Zerilia over there, let's, let's go. <laughs> I see what you did there, blind, that, oh, wow. Okay, so we've got, a, we, <laughs> we've got everybody having a little bit of a, a fisty cuffs here, so we're going to help out the, uh, 22. Boom. Bravo. Hello. There's a really a bomber there. He is trying his damn just to get on my oh, tail. Wow. These drones are diabolically difficult. Hello. That was 
was like, oh, the Zerilia destroyer was just trying to eat my face as well. Oh, he's not wanting to play ball at all. Oh, he's not wanting to play ball. Let's give me some distance if I can. <laughs> Run out. They just keep coming. Wow, they they are. <coughs> Oof. That's off. That's off. Uh, what well, the signal decoder dropped? Super nerfed on release. We actually got anything in our inventory? Let's look at the cargo terminal. Let's head there. I just want to show you as much as I can, uh, but we've got quite a few other things to uh, to dive through. We've only, where has the time gone? Where has the time gone? Let's just get over there. Over in there. <laughs> Glasses are liquid. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, I do like the virus. I just obviously haven't that one up. Annoyingly. Uh, in my previous save, I've been running the, uh, the virus as well. I just haven't got to Drake. Terra Nuba. Yeah, it was very difficult, uh, especially <clears throat> we had all enemies against me. I didn't really have any friends there, did I? None whatsoever. <laughs> right, some ships and supplies. least we can probably repair it's handy what do we don't think there we go that that's looking mm. i think i think the ship needs a little bit of work <laughs> yeah, sorry, kids. Oh, yeah, I totally and totally brought that. Absolutely. Right, let's just go to the shop. Let's see what we can sell. Uh, Abernetic implants. Always good to get rid of them. Sell them. Peacemaker. Disable any weapons in us. That's quite handy as well. Um, new structure. Just going to pick up that one. Small arms. We'll sell that as well. Get rid of the sticky turret. These make it quite good. Look here, we can get rid of. Damage booster. Nano repair kit. Stick that into there for the time being. There we go. Oh, damn money. <laughs> it just doesn't help that we've got no money whatsoever. <laughs> oh, dear. And then in the hangar. So let's see what we can find ship-wise. Yeah, that's always good. So, so ooh, on it. In a very similar colour scheme. Very similar. Nice. Bit expensive for me, but a 3+. plus. Bad, not bad. Spirit, D3 on the scout. I do enjoy... Ooh, look at those wings. 
Fair, very swish. Very swish. Very swish. Like it does, like it does. The stalker. Very nice. <laughs> I didn't see the cube. But yeah. That big boy. I do like the bombers. Not played one yet. Nice. Uh, big chunky boys. Chunky boys. Chunky boys. Right, let's have a look. Right, is there anywhere that we should head that I'm just not going to die within seconds? Hmm. I'd say what we'll do is we'll just go back to Letho. We'll head back there. <laughs> Glory. I'm starting to wonder whether that's a good idea. <laughs> whether that... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm proving the point that you've got to be careful when you come into Drake. I'm slightly underleveled, uh, having not been here. That's been tough. That's been tough. Uh, and I am just playing on normal. Uh... <laughs> ah, Flory. I get you now, I get you now, yeah. Yeah. Something about bypassing space. Uh, I, th I, think that, I think that's the vibe you're giving. Let's head back here. That matter. I'm always up for free stuff. I'm always up for freebies. There we go. <laughs> so if you ever do want to see what your guns look like up close and personal, there you go. That's what one looks like out the side of uh, my ship. Hello. Wee. Hello. Wow, you know I said I was going to go somewhere safe. <laughs> this is not helping, is it? Friends helping now. Coalition have joined in as well, so that's good. Ooh, he's trying to take on that uh, operator. Give him down. Give him a bomb. And I've just black screened. Yep, they were back. Whew. He did actually just. Right, that. There we go. Finally. Took him out. Damn. They are tough with the shields. Um, you got to work your way around them. Obviously, if you can use the virus, that is quite handy too. Energy shield. Ooh. What, what did we pick up? Uh, a superior energy shield. Mm, very nice, very nice. Right, let's get landed. <coughs> let's get landed. So you can see there's lots to investigate around here. Lots of little puzzles, I think, that you're going to like and enjoy. There we go. You have our gratitude for your brave action. The explosive device you sent us will help us redress the balance <laughs> of power in yeah. Drake. <laughs> So, what's the real story here, Ningyun? What are you up to? 
The reason I was elected to lead is because I understand that the coalition's future is in trade and not piracy. We're not outlaws anymore. But that has placed us in the crosshairs of the outlaws that still plague this system. Two rival gangs, the Zerelia, and the Retaliators. Let me guess. As long as they remain at each other's throats, the focus stays off your operations here. Very astute. However, they have agreed to start negotiations on a non-aggression pact, which, if it succeeds, will place our peaceful future in peril. So, these Zerelia bombs I pilfered for you, you want to use them to provoke the retaliators, and blow up the negotiations? Exactly. The retaliators cannot know the coalition was involved. That is why we need you. I'm not so sure I'm on board with the ethical side of this. I don't like the deceit, it's not my style. Peace always comes at a price. It is the only way I can guarantee continued security for my people. Your pragmatism is terrifying, but I can see your reasoning. I'm sending you coordinates for the Retaliator HQ. The target houses no civilians. Do this, Adam, and you could save many lives. I'm going to have to think about it. Oh yeah, still early access, so just to point out, yeah, you're going to have text-to-speech, which is quite fun to listen to, uh, but obviously there is subtitles as well, uh, but that will come later as well. Uh, Dutch Joy, how are you doing? Welcome along, welcome along. Uh, yes, I'm the new community manager, one of, uh, obviously, um, still got Will, and obviously, the wonderful Eric is still the community ambassador. I'm just here to help out uh, and be a connection to you boys and girls that uh, want to play Everspace 2 with your ideas and your desires for the game uh, and hopefully make the best damn space looter shooter that we can uh, which is going to be coming out of early access and to final release uh, sometime in early 2023 uh, and I hope you can join us on that journey now I'm going to leave it there in terms of gameplay because uh, you've seen me die enough <clears throat> yeah and uh, yeah I can't even repair my ship fully yet. <laughs> I haven't got enough money. Thanks, Eric. Uh, so what we're going to do is just go to a quick intermission. Just give me a second. And then I'm going to set up some of the screenshots because the screenshots have been absolutely amazing uh, this week. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys have knocked it out of the park in terms of that. So just give me a second while I set this up. we go always helps if i put my microphone up doesn't it uh, it's been a monumental task this week of trying to narrow down our um best screenshots uh you guys have knocked it out of the park really have absolutely knocked it out of the park uh, you can always tell there's a slight delay with youtube because it's like your voice isn't working <laughs> but um it is uh just an amazing game and obviously it's so cool that you can create such wonderful screenshots uh, so testament to the team but we're going to show some of them i've had real trouble narrowing these down uh, but we managed to uh, but they're still coming in they're still coming in i mean there's even been more today which i haven't been able to include because i <sighs> ran out of time ran out of time but uh, i'm going to go running through them uh, as eric does as well just because we need to show these off because they are absolutely phenomenal so first up this was from Flory. Uh, well done, Flory. Uh, you've, again, one of the great screenshots that have been coming in. And this one, a bit of a bug, I think we can call this one, but it, it is a quite funny bug. Um, we've got a bit of a clash going on. Um, now, if, if they didn't have a title, I kind of uh, gave them a little title as well. 
Uh, this one's called Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> And I don't know what's going to happen to that uh, space station, in particular that ship. One of them's going to blow up, and one of them's probably going to end up in that planet. Uh, but, yeah. You wouldn't want to be on board either of those, really, would you? <laughs> Phenomenal shot. Well done, Flory. Well done, Flory. Uh, next up, we have uh, Vendacia. Uh, send this one in. This one, for me, is called Worm Wrangling. Uh, you can obviously see the... Uh, the fauna struck flora is uh, is trying to attach itself to the ship and in retaliation Vendacia is hitting it the best he can um not probably one of the situations to, to be in but it looks very nice doesn't it and that's not uh probably not the best choice of licking the ship clean <laughs> our youtuber just knocking out every song possible <laughs> But uh, well done, uh, Vendacia. Uh, thoroughly cool uh, image, that. Um, just be careful in some of the tunnels. You never know what's going to try and eat your ship. Uh, we have coming up. This one is again from Flory. Uh, again, they've been phenomenal with, uh, with the screenshots this week. And uh, this one I called activated. So if you know this part, and I've, I've done this part, if you know the relevance of that, uh, then you'll, uh, you'll understand activated. Um, Good little puzzle uh, around that. Phenomenal use of colour, and it's it is a good puzzle to do. So when you get there, do uh, do enjoy it and try and work it out. Um, but yeah, very very um, cool imagery. I love the colours. Uh, such a difference between the lights of the yellows and then the purples, which uh, is just pure pure uh, Everspace coloration. Now, somebody who's going to really like this ship, uh, <laughs> this one's Spootnight. This is Spootnight's favourite ship and as close to possible. Uh, I think it was the one from the prototype that he was trying to build. Uh, and I, I literally called this one Dream because this was his dream ship. Um, I love the depth of field that he's used and obviously firing their guns just at the right moment to highlight all the edges and then the, um, the lights on the ship as well. It's a very much a stealth build, um, but then it can unleash hell seemingly on anything and everything in its path. So it is a nice looking ship. Totally agree with you there, uh, uh, Spook. Very nice ship, very nice ship. And I'm glad you finally managed to make um, one to your desires. That's very, very nice indeed. Next up, one of many from uh, High Bath on Discord. Uh, I struggled with all the ones that he did post because he's he's like a machine, absolutely like a machine uh, with, with these screenshots. Now, this one particularly I like because of all the curves, and that's why I've called it curves. There's the swoop of the trail from the engine. You've got the swoop of the, uh, um, the asteroids uh, behind, you know, the different levels of the asteroid. You've got the star fields. You've got the distant sun you've got the planet there as well um amazing shot definitely uh, well done to you and i think it's the coloration of the engines uh, such a distinct uh difference to the rest of it but it ties in so so well uh, and you can see the path uh, of the sh that the ship has taken so well done on that one uh, high bath uh, again uh, top work top work all the way through uh, all the screenshots that you've done so next up very sinister this one very very sinister and this one comes from Kizar Kizar Kaiser we'll go Kizar oh I hope that's right Kizar I hope I'm not butchering your name uh this one uh, I actually called into the unknown because it looks like you're venturing through a misty asteroid field with seemingly uh, an exit point or somewhere you're trying to reach uh, and you're venturing through and you just don't know the next second whether you're going to get hit, hit by an asteroid or something's going to come out of stealth and, and take you on. But it's uh, the brightness of the ship and the engines just standing out in such a gloomy environment that um, it's almost like the uh, an eye that's watching you. Kizar. Okay, we'll go Kizar. We'll go that way. Cheers, baby. Um, but yeah, I, I do like that one just because of the menacingness, if that's the word of uh, the whole situation that you could potentially uh, be in uh, again well done uh, another 
phenomenal. Uh, I think you've got the galactic photographer already, haven't you, Kizor? Uh, uh, Bidy Frog is spelled, uh, at least how Eric always says it, and I presume, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go. I'm quite happy to be uh, corrected on any pronunciation, uh, so uh, please do let me know if I do butcher your names. And who we got next? <laughs> Another one from Flory. <laughs> Another bug. Flory, you're very good at picking out the bugs. I've noticed, you know, ships crashing into other ships, uh, etc. And, uh, yeah. Two of the scouts having a little dance. Uh, this one's can dancing a deadly dance. I think, actually, Flory, you actually named this one. Uh, so, yeah, they were stuck together. They do become an easy target when they're doing this, to be fair. Um, although I haven't seen any, obviously, today with, with the patch or anything like that. They were... Um, there was a few instances where um, we've seen a few ships having a little uh, up close and personal moment uh, with each other. But uh, yeah, there's, uh, hopefully we'll get those bugs squashed. Yeah, yeah, Destra, they do. They just spiral and spiral and spiral and keep going until you can shoot them a few times and then they will separate. Or if you take one down, uh, th then the other one becomes free. So uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very good. Right. Uh, this one was one of the, probably one of the first ones I actually picked up, and this was uh, from Super Eight. Uh, and to be fair, I picked it because it has so many aspects to it. Obviously, you've got the ship in the foreground, uh, and the the uh, I think it's, is it a virus around him. And then in the, in the background, he's obviously just blown something up and he's out of there. It's it's almost like it's on a timer. It's like he set a timer, he set a bomb, and it's like three, two, one, and he's just boosted out of there and he's like, kaboom, job done. I don't even need to look back. I don't need to look at anything that else is going on. I just need to scram, get out of there. So uh, a phenomenal shot uh, from Super 8. Thank you very much for that one. Like I said, that was one of the first ones I did pick because I thought it was absolutely outstanding. Uh, a great again depth of field but you can see what's happened as well it's not like you're thinking what's going over there you know he's just blown something up and he's hightailing it uh, as quick as he can out of there lovely shot lovely shot med bed quality shot my friend quality shot my friend uh this one you didn't title but i called it desolation because obviously it's a very desolate uh region uh of the system but obviously very close to seemingly a star of some description it looks like it's going to probably smash into uh and, and break apart but uh the uh that would make a very good horror movie set wouldn't it you know heading into there um alien isolation if anybody's played that absolutely amazing uh uh game that so that is imagine you'll, you could uh, run around on that and uh, have a few horror moments. But uh, again, Medbed. So really cool. I love the shadows as well. The, the way that the, the broken parts are casting the shadows onto the other parts. I mean, it's such a bright um, light source as well. But again, phenomenal work from the art team. Absolutely phenomenal. And we have Kizar again. And this one, uh, obviously, <laughs> is one of the uh, areas... Well, yeah, you could get into a bit of trouble with the flame, which you saw that I did earlier. Uh, but we call one this one into the fire. It almost looks like you're just about to throw that ship straight into a furnace uh, in the hope that you come out the other side perfectly fine. But uh, it looks very industrial, very hot, molten metal environment. Uh, and I think you're going in on a wing on a prayer into that tiny gap. I'm just wondering, is that ship going to fit? Or are you going to scratch your paintwork? Hopefully you'll get through there without uh, too much damage. <laughs> lovely shot, lovely shot. Uh, med bed again. Now, I'm a Tolkien fan, um, and I know a few other people are. And I actually, when I first saw this one on the Discord channel, um, I looked at that from a distance and all I could see uh, and if you are a Tolkien fan you'll probably understand this is the doors of Durin which obviously is the entrance way into Moria um, and from a distance that's all I could see because of the, the, the Holling Gate uh, symbols being lit by the moon etc 
Uh, and that's all I can see. But I, I love that it's got such a depth of field. It looks so far away because of the rocks at the front that it is um, a wonderful environment. So uh, fair play, Medbed. I love that one. Probably one of my favorites. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Now, this is actually a fan out one. Uh, this is one of the only fan outs we got, but obviously people were too busy enjoying uh, the update and the experimental. So, but this is obviously uh, the wormhole uh, that we took uh, near the start to Drake. Great um, screenshot there from Excel. Obviously, a little bit of enhancement, etc. But uh, you can see that they're just about to go down the, the sinkhole into potential oblivion, hoping to come out somewhere. Uh, and seemingly we do come out in the Drake system. Um, I love the sharpness of the actual ship uh, and the coloration as well. It fits the theme um, and all the spectrum colors in the background as well. But uh, well done, XL. Love that one. Love that one. Wild Charger. This one from uh, a new galactic photographer in terms of posting screenshots. And this one I've called quintessential because it literally is just quintessential uh, Everspace 2 uh, all over. You've got so many aspects that just make up Everspace, you know, even from the first game uh, into the second game. There is so, so much uh, about that that you just cannot uh, not like it, you know. It really is. Um, and I do suggest you check out the uh, screenshot channel as well because um, obviously the spoiler tags are, are now taken down because everybody should have access uh, near enough, apart from obviously the uh, Microsoft uh, variant. We are still waiting on those to uh, pass certification and uh, allow the update to be downloaded. But uh, yeah, please go check out the screenshots in there. This one is from High Bath, and I've called it Rocket. Simply because you can just about see in that top corner uh, that he has just fired a rocket from uh, the viewpoint of the pilot. Uh, and it's not one that you'll often see because obviously most people are too busy um, looking at what they're shooting at. But amazing, amazing screenshot uh, because it just captures that moment where you're going to potentially do some damage with that, doing some damage. Another one uh, from uh, Key Sky. Uh, another wonderful screenshot. I know he's been posting a lot last week uh, and he's done some more this week. Again, it's got everything and that's why I've called it everything. You've got the light sources, you've got the dark, you've got the distance, you've got the asteroids, you've got the broken bits uh, as well as the gas clouds in the background. It is amazing. The, just the, the, the colour gradients between the two and obviously the lights and the shadows as well. So fair play cracking stuff like i say it's been very very difficult to just break these down uh to some top top stuff that's why i've had to bring out so many because it was just too difficult to uh to narrow them down this is a bright one uh, and this one is bill farson uh well done bill uh this one was called energy ball and you can see why uh, he's radiating some heat there you know not only bright light but some serious serious heat as well uh and <laughs> it does feel very very hot uh, and the ship itself, you just like you're going GTFO. You know, that's all you're going to do. You're getting out of there. You know that that thing is going to absolutely inviscerate you. So uh, nice screenshot there. Nice screenshot. Loving it. Loving it. Next up. And we are going over time, but I don't mind. We're doing well here. Doing well. Uh, next up is this one. Uh, it was from High Bath. Now, I actually chose this because I was actually looking at the ship perspective the wrong way around because all I could see was the shape of a dragonfly. And that's why I've called it a dragonfly. Um, obviously, the, the nose is pointing down to the bottom and the, the wings, etc. But I all I could see was a dragonfly. Uh, so if you do actually imagine a dragonfly just fluttering uh, vertically, that's what I saw. Again, loving that there's so much going on in the background, but the domination of the ship at the front um, just kind of peels your eyes away. And then you see, oh, there is some other stuff going on. Oh, what's that over there? Uh, great shot, uh, Bill. Uh, sorry, hi, hi, Bath. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Laurie's like, you could just look at these all night. Look at these all night. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, right, certainly last but not least, and this was brought to my attention by Michael earlier today, uh, and it was by Ubik Vallis from the Steam Forums. Uh, he did an ode to Rockfish. Uh, I'm going to read it. Um, it's a good little rhyme, uh, and uh, if you do want to check it out, it is on the, uh, on the Steam uh, pages as well. Uh, and well done, Ubik, for creating such a... 
a nice little thing. So don't be fooled by a name, for they are sure to bring and make the game. It may seem unappealing to be a rock and a fish, but what they are cooking is a delicious gamer's dish. Railgun snipers, EMPs, and a lasers, pew, pew, pew. If you like the sound of that, then this is the game for you. You are Adam Roslin, a mysterious human clone and a space adventuring pilot who's also bad to the bone. With fuzzy friends like Alec, Delia, Dax and Ben blasting away the baddies is not a matter of if, but when. Be sure to check your shield if the bad guys will not yield. Plus somewhere in that starry field is a fusion hook for you to wield. Don't forget to craft some stuff just in case the quest gets rough. Catalysts and special gear will make you smile from ear to ear. Also keep your home base comfy and don't mind Maddox, he's just grumpy. Visit Marie, who sounds so flirty. Unlike my mind, her shop ain't dirty. Check your missile ammo too. Buy some with corrosion goo. Don't let baddies turn you blue. Companion perks will help you through. That is all I had to say. Good luck, fellow pilots, as you blast away. Now, fair play to Ubik. That, that does... It does take a bit of work, so I'm going to give him a little round of applause there, because that is quite a nice little ode to Rockfish and Everspace. Uh, I think he's done a wonderful job on that. Uh, uh, and fair play. Now, that, my friends, is my time up. So, we've had a wonderful time. I'm just going to bring up my notes again, just to make sure that I've not missed anything. So, you've obviously got the summer update that's launched today for everybody to have access to. Like I say, sadly, um, Microsoft, you've just got to wait for certification on that, so it may take a little while. Go out there, play it. Please do carry on reporting any more bugs that you find. Um, you guys are uh, testing it already to a, a brilliant level. Uh, but the more you find, the better it is for us because we will make a much smoother and nicer game uh, at launch, which obviously is next year. You've got the new factions. You've got the coalition, the Zerilia, the Retaliators. You've got new perks from Terrain and also from Hive. You've got the mutators that are going to affect your high-risk areas which are going to make it even more challenging, but also more rewarding. You've got the quality of life improvements, which is across the board, but that is down to you guys, you know, giving us the information that you think would be a good idea, suggestions, everything like that uh, is full. Um, I'll just echo what Eric said last week. If you are playing um, the update for the first time, we do suggest that you play with a fresh save just so that you don't get any weird bugs because we have had some bugs that have come into it because it just uh, the over time you know these things happen and we don't want you to have a, uh, a game breaking bug where you can't do something and then we realize it's because it's an old save that's causing a problem so do start afresh uh, and then head out there uh, and then obviously track IR and AMD FSR is now implemented you saw a little bit of me playing with it it is quite nice. So if you're interested, check out Track IR. Um, and to top it all off, there's another bloody sale on. Yes, 25%. It is now on sale. If you want to dive in, please do. Uh, it's very, very well worth it. It is going to increase in price come 1.0, which is going to be the re release. If you want to test it, see how well it runs on your system, there is a demo that is worthwhile you trying as well uh, because it's free. Have a little check out with the gameplay and also see if your system can handle it so i'm going to leave you there i'm going to bid you good evening uh thanks very much for making me so welcome uh, as i join the team um if you do have any questions you're more than welcome to ping me uh, on the discord i do peruse steam uh and hopefully next week i'll be back to my next role uh or my no usual role of uh compiling all the questions for eric so we believe he's gonna be back next week so don't worry we don't worry uh but thanks very much it's much appreciated the warm welcome thank you to michael for dragging me in on the team uh hopefully uh, i shall see you again very very soon we're gonna actually play out with the drake trailer uh which has just been released today as well which looks and sounds phenomenal so in the meantime folks take care be good, and we'll see you in the next one. TTFM for now. Bye-bye.